Welcome to the HBM Test and Measurement FAQ video series. I'm Clark Anderson, an HBM Applications Engineer, and in this video I'm going to provide an overview of Catman Easy Sensor Database. So in today's video, we're going to cover how to use the sensor database, how to adjust sensor settings, how to create sensors, and how to import existing sensors. Where is the sensor database located? After starting Catman Easy, the sensor database can be found in the sensor database tab. The sensor database is arranged in two groups. The groups are HBM transducers, strain gauge transducers, strain gauge bridges, inductive transducers, temperature transducer, DC voltage, frequency, LVDT, resistance, counters, my sensors, pulse width modulation, and IEP. New groups can be added to any of the existing groups. It is also possible to create subgroups. It is recommended to create all new groups and sensors in the My Sensors group. The HBM Transducers group contains most transducers offered by HBM. They are organized into the following groups acceleration transducers, displacement, torque, pressure, weighing, pressure transducers absolute, and force transducers. Expanding the pressure transducer and the P3MBR groups, you will find the sensors. In this case, the P3MBR 5 bar sensor has been selected. The sensor settings are displayed in the right window. The sensor name is shown in the names description field. This is the name that will be used throughout Catman Easy for selecting the sensor. The left window also contains a search field. The search field allows you to search the entire sensor database for a specific sensor. The full bridge search here has returned four sensors that have full bridge in the sensor name. This search field only searches the name description field of the sensors. Searching for C2 returns all HBM C2 force and weighing transducers. There's an additional search button that allows searching by the sensor description, sensor ID, serial number, CAN message, or user specific. The user specific option allows the user to search several different fields. Selecting the P3MBR 5 bar pressure sensor again, we will now look at the transducer settings and information. Here you can see it's a full bridge with 5 volts excitation. Clicking on the transducer characteristic tab the sensor settings are displayed. Here the electrical physical setting is set to zero span. The units are set to bar. The sensor outputs zero millivolts of volt at zero bar and two millivolts of volt at five bar. These are the nominal values for a P3 MBR. Calibration data, description files, location and shunt information can be saved with the sensor. Checkboxes can prevent the sensor from being applied to more than one channel or being used when it is out of cal. A drop down list for duration of validity of the calibration can also be set. The pad like icon next to the sensor group indicates they are not editable. In order to edit one of these sensors, you must first select the sensor, then click the copy button above. Next, you select the My Sensors group and then press the paste button. This will create a copy of the sensor that can be edited. The name of the copied sensor can be changed by editing the name description field. Once you have made the change, click the update sensor button in the top left corner to save the changes to the sensor. The next step is to edit the transducer settings and transducer characteristic. The transducer settings for a bridge sensor include excitation value and excitation type. Here the excitation type, carrier frequency, is set to auto. The auto setting will allow the sensor to be used for amplifiers with DC or AC excitation. The options for bridge excitation are shown. If the value set is not supported by the amplifier, Catman Easy will provide a warning and adjust if it is possible. The bridge resistance can also be specified if it is known. Where do the characteristic transducer values for the adjustment come from? 
You can get them from a data sheet, inspection reports, or calibration certificates. So the definition of a linear grade through two value pairs, the zero point, and then the nominal value, which is sensitivity. So you show it shows a relationship between load and output signal. When using the zero span setting, enter in the electrical and physical settings from the transducer's data sheet or calibration sheet. In this case, the axle load cell has a nominal value of two pounds with an output of two millivolts of volt. If the different engineering unit is desired, the nominal value should be converted as required. For this example, it was desired to have the engineering units of grams. The nominal value should be entered as 907. When using the zero span setting, the measurement range is set to the nominal value. If your test requires a larger measurement range, the two point setting should be used. If the transducer does not have a data or calibration sheet, use the two point setting. This will allow you to calibrate the sensor using two known loads. The sensor file that was copied had the transducer character set to read raw electrical values. The physical unit must be changed to allow editing of the electrical and physical fields. So once again, points one and two are used to define a linear gradient. Point one ideally would be your zero point, and point two would ideally be the nominal or rated value of your sensor but they don't have to actually be those two endpoints. Since this sensor is a load cell, the desired engineering units are in pounds. Once the unit has been changed, the electrical and physical fields are editable. There are two measure buttons located next to the two electrical value fields. The measure buttons will take a measurement reading and place it in the electrical fields. The measurement options button will bring up an options window. The default setting is instantaneous value. This will take one measurement value and place it in the corresponding field. If the load cell is not steady, it may be preferred to use mean or RMS value. Typically, you would take one measurement at 0% load and one at 100% load. However, you can make measurements anywhere within the measuring range. When using the two-point setting, the measuring range must also be specified. If the sensor has calibration data, these values can be entered using the tabular setting. This is a sample calibration data from a working standard calibration. The left side of the table lists the calibration steps, and the right side lists the electrical output of the transducer. If several values are used to characterize the sensor, the tabular electrical physical option can be selected. Enter the calibration table values. It is also possible to measure the values if using known loads. The data from the sample calibration has been entered here. The graph on the right indicates the linearity deviation. The values here show the sensor has very little linearity deviation. The tabular setting is useful for sensors that are not linear or have different output slopes for tension and compression. DKD calibrations will provide the polynomial coefficients of the sensor output. The sample data above can be entered into the sensor database when using the polynomial setting. Select the polynomial electrical physical setting, then enter the coefficients from the DKD calibration. So how to add a new sensor? Adding a new sensor should be done in the My Sensors group. Click the new sensor button, then select the type of sensor you would like to add. The new sensor is added to My Sensors group. The new sensor will have default settings and should be edited if required. If you have an existing sensor database, it can be imported into the Catman Easy Sensor Database. Click on the file icon, then select Import Sensors. Browse the file location and select the file. If you have a vector CAN database, it can be imported into the CAN Easy Sensor database. Click File, then select Import Vector CAN database, and browse to the file location and select the file. After importing a vector CAN database, it will appear in the sensor database groups. The CAN database Zilla underscore KSO2 was imported. It contains two channels of data, one for humidity and one for temperature. 
Selecting the humidity sensor, the sensor settings are shown in the right window. If a vector CAN database file is not available for your CAN sensor, you can enter the protocol information manually. Once your sensors have been added to the sensor database, all that is needed to set up an amplifier channel is to assign the sensor. The sensor can be found using the search field or manually in the sensors group. Here the axle load cell is searched using axle load. The search result appears immediately. The sensor can be dragged over to the amplifier channel and dropped in the sensor function column. The amplifier channel is now ready for a measurement. So recommendations before adding your own enhancement and modifications is to create a backup copy of the original sensor database. Do not store the database in the installation directory as it can be overwritten when a software update is installed. And do not enter individual modifications in the general entry for the type concern. Instead, copy with the new name. The sensor database used by Catman Easy is assigned in the Catman Easy options. The sensor database can be located on your PC or on a network location. The sensor database is also used to edit TED's content. When you right click on the TED sensor and select Edit Sensor, The content of the TEDS chip is shown in the sensor database where you can edit the settings. To program a TEDS chip, once you have a sensor file created, all you have to do is drag it onto the channel with the TEDS chip and Catman Easy will prompt you if you want to apply the settings and write them to the TEDS chip or just apply the settings only. If you select to write them to the TEDS chip, the TEDS chip will be ready for the next time you connect your sensor to your amplifier. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call, email, or visit our website for the latest product solutions and downloads at www.hbm.com.